Hey guys, Faith here. So I decided to go on a little adventure today and of course take you guys along. I originally wasn't going to come up here today. I thought, well, the weather's not too bad. Although it is still pretty chilly out here. But, you know, I'm not complaining at least too much. It's better than when it was, like, raining real bad or snowing and stuff. Actually, the rain is so bad here that in downtown Madison, it flooded a lot. It was insane. Although, I heard it is going down. But I think they might still have areas blocked off. I'm not sure. I haven't been up there in, like, quite a while, so... I don't go around downtown that often. It's pretty rare for me, actually. I'm always up here, or whenever I'm with my dad and brother, we just go, like, mainly to Walmart and stuff, pretty much. But yeah, I actually stopped by Family Dollar. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna try to show you guys. Yeah, it's like way over. I don't know which way I'm going. Okay, there it is. It's like way over there. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to kind of get up for a minute and show you guys. Yeah. It's like way over there. Yeah, I have the front facing camera on, so that's why it's kind of it's difficult to show you guys. But yeah, I went over there, and while I was over there, I got this it's pipeline punch. These monster. I've had these a few times. Oh my god, guys, these are so good. They're like really sweet taste, and I get sweet punch, which I really love. These were only like two dollars compared to like when I used to get them initially. I used to get them quite frequently, but they rose and then I could circle K at like three or four or something. So I was like, no, I'm not paying that much for a 16 ounce can. So I started getting rock stars at Walmart since they're cheaper. They sell them there for like a dollar or two dollars, which actually isn't that bad. So yeah. But, you know, I realized, you know what, better yet, he's not even worth my time. He's not worth a minute of my time. So, you know, I kind of shook it off in a way. You know, I was pretty mad about all of it. I did manage to calm down at least. Although there's times, too, when... I'd be on the phone with Kayla and we'd always pick on him. We'd do it kind of do it in a mean way, but to where like everybody knew we were genuinely joking around. I've had people literally tell me, oh, you know, you pick on your brother too. Yeah. But the difference is, I actually do it like in a joking way. He does it like in a freaking mean, like cruel type way. Where it's almost like he's bullying more than just playing around. But, uh, Kayla would always be more mean about it than me. So I'd just be like, Kayla, you're savage, you know? And she'd be like, well, you know? It's funny. I always have the most hilarious phone conversations with her, or like, messages from her. <laughs> they would always crack me up, I swear. I've literally been friends with her for about six years now. We pretty much shared a lot of memories together. I remember when we first met, we hung out like twice. 
and then we didn't hang out for like almost two years. Well then, after that we started to hang out more and more and more. But we actually became much more closer where we're considered like sisters. Which I'm truly grateful for. Uh, she knows about my depression and all that and she actually helps me through it. And it feels really nice, you know, to have people help you through that sort of thing. When I was younger and I was dealing with it, nobody was really there for me. The only people that were really there was my mom, some of my cousins, my grandparents on my mother's side, you know, a few other family members. That's about it. You know, nobody else really helped me. I pretty much, majority of the time, I had to deal with it or handle it on my own. And I don't want anybody to have to go through it alone. So, if any of you are going through this and, you know, you feel like you have nobody to talk to, you can always talk to me, you always can contact me through like my social media account and stuff and I will try my best to help you because believe it or not I know what it's like to truly feel alone and I don't want others to have to deal with that. I don't want anybody to have to go through what I have. As some of you may know, some of you new people might not know this, but to those who don't, I've been bullied majority of my life. I've been bullied by certain family members, I've been bullied by people online, even so-called friends. And it... It affected me the worst way possible, but I am trying to get better. I'm trying to heal from everything. That's one reason why I make videos for you guys, because, you know, it just feels nice talking to you guys about different things. About some of my struggles, about, you know, the fun times I always have, and all that stuff. And it's just always nice to meet new people in here. When I was younger, I was actually really shy. I didn't talk to many people, except for me and my small circle of friends. I was very antisocial back then. I've actually gotten better since then with the social stuff, but I'm still struggling a little bit, but I'm just proud of myself of how far I've come from that. There are some things I went through that I've healed from, but there's some that I'm still learning to heal, that I'm still, you know, struggling with. But I know in time, I'll be able to heal completely, like, from everything. I want to thank you guys for all the support you guys have given me over the years, for all the positive comments and all that good stuff, you know, telling me, you know, how, you, how much you like certain videos of mine and stuff. It really motivates me to make more for you guys. It gives me that sense of accomplishment in a sense. But yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here today so I can drink my monster and wait on my dad and stuff. Hopefully he picks me up this time. So yeah, I love you guys. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. I will link all my social medias down below like always. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.